Well, good morning. Morning, Jubilee. Hey, I hope you remember to put the clocks forward uh, last night so that you are gathering with us at 10.30 a.m. this morning. It is good to gather again together um, for the second of our uh, online Sunday celebrations. We can't obviously all gather together physically at the moment, but we can come together in this way um, to worship, to pray, to hear God's word um, together. And that's what we're going to be doing this morning. So whether you are staying indoors, uh, whether you're out in the garden, maybe you're going out for your one uh, um, time out of exercise this morning, um, it's good to come together this morning to worship and pray. Uh, it's also been really great to see our community groups gathering online as well with um, kind of online chats and online meetups this week. If you're not in a community group and you want to join in one of those, um, please do email us at info at jct.church and we can connect you with a community group where you can do that. We're also going to be gathering again tonight from 7.30 online uh, for our prayer meeting. Um, all the information is on the website, jct.church. Uh, if you're part of the church, a regular part of the church, then you should have had an email with all the details to do that through an app called Zoom. If you haven't and you'd like to join in uh, and you're a regular part of Jubilee, then um, please do email at info at jct.church and we can get the information to you. Uh, but let's do that tonight and gather together from 7.30. So I was praying this morning and asking God to give me something that I could share and encourage us all. And I was um, reading Philippians 4 and within seconds Sue had posted the very same passage on our community WhatsApp group. So I believe this is something from God this morning that he just wants to use to really encourage us. So this is Philippians 4 verse 4. Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again, rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guide your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. So maybe you're feeling a bit anxious at the moment. I'll confess that I am. I think it's really difficult not to in these current circumstances. Um, but if you are, then allow the truth of these words to sink deep into your heart mm. and to change that anxiety to turn that anxiety into peace um, the lord is near and when we present our um, prayers and requests to him we can know this peace and it's a peace that goes beyond understanding mm. the world wouldn't understand this peace right now but because we know jesus we can know this peace and let's um remember to do this with thanksgiving when we are grateful and we remember to thank God for the things that we're grateful for, even if it's just breath in our lungs, the fact that we're alive today, then that changes our perspective. It takes our eyes off our problems, fixes them on Jesus and just lifts our gaze to him. And let's remember as well, Paul was writing these words from in prison from a very difficult situation. If he could know God's peace in that time, then I am... I, truly believe that we can know God's peace for us at this time as well. And peace is one of the fruits of the Holy Spirit. Um, so keep drawing near to God, keep being filled with his Holy Spirit, and you will know this peace in increasing measure. Let's also be asking God and looking for ways that we can share this peace with others around us who are full of anxiety at the moment. Um, you know, let's ask God to show us um, creative different ways that we can do this because it is difficult at the moment when we can't just pop out and chat to people um, but I, I, God wants us to share this piece with the world and so ask him for ways that we can do that and I, I just pray that this morning would really bless all of us as we um, go into a time of worship together and, and the rest of this morning just pray that you'd be blessed through it thank you okay so that's what we're going to do this morning we're going to come before God with thankfulness grateful hearts we're going to come before him we're knowing that he loves us and that he's for us we've put some worship videos on this page that you can use perhaps there's others you want to do after that or maybe ones in your own language that you want to use to worship god with then there's a short talk from gavin uh, from raj uh, excuse me and uh, then there's also some ways that you can pray 
and um, some ways that you can involve your children and engage your children with the whole morning too. Um, so let's do that together. If you're visiting us this morning online, uh, perhaps you wouldn't consider yourself a Christian, or perhaps you are a Christian and not a usual part of Jubilee, you're very, very welcome this morning. And you're welcome to come and visit us in usual circumstances when we meet uh, at Macmillan uh, on a normal Sunday from 10.30am. You'd be very welcome to come and join us when we're doing that again.